spoiler warning. Okay, calm down. No, the thumbnail is not a spoiler. I don't do that. This is just a Bad Batch speculation or theory, if you prefer. And yes, I'm talking about Boba Fett. The Boba Fett. The Boba Fett that we love. The Boba Fett that we remember from The Empire Strikes Back, The Clone Wars, The Return of the Jedi, all that stuff. The real Boba Fett. Is he coming back? And we'll get into that in just a second. First, let's hear a word from our sponsor. And that sponsor is me. Why? Because I pay for the crap around here. I'm allowed to be the sponsor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Share it with some enemies or some friends or some Star Wars lovers or whatever. Just share it. Leave a comment down below what you think about Boba Fett returning in the Bad Batch. And remember, this channel is safe for human consumption and it is FDA approved. But don't go asking the feds about it because the FDA will deny any involvement with my channel. Rightfully so. Now, The Bad Batch Season 3 Episode 8 has released just a few hours ago and I'm excited for it. I liked it. There's some parts of it that I wasn't too keen on and we will get to the Boba Fett stuff just here in a moment. The part I'm not so keen on is more monsters. Yeah, I know the galaxy's big and there are monsters everywhere on every planet, just like we have our own here. Alligators, bears, Gila monsters, you know, Komodo dragons, all that stuff. We have monsters. The other planets have monsters. Get it? And my problem isn't with them having monsters per se, but that there's a lack of clear villain in a lot of these episodes. Like the villains we want to see. Okay, like the Empire, other clones, that sort of thing. There have been a couple episodes with it, but for the most part, we've been seeing them battle monsters. And I'm not criticizing the Bad Batch for it. It's just the critique. You're allowed to give your good with your bad. And that's one of my bads. Now, one of the goods is that I like seeing Omega and Crosshair's interactions, bringing Crosshair back into the fold of the Bad Batch, making them all a family unit again and Omega is that linchpin that helps them heal from what's happened in the past and now she's helping Crosshair meditate and try to calm his mind because a lot of his hand problem is in his mind as well as it is a physical problem now let me go back for just a second I'm not saying there's no clear enemy in the Bad Batch season 3 I'm just saying we're not seeing enough interactions between the Bad Batch Clone Force 99 and that villain or enemy and now we get to the Fennec Shan stuff yes we get to see Fennec Shan again and it's awesome I'm glad to see her and at the same time I'm not because to me doesn't she seem a little too mysterious a little too villainous eh, a little too sketchy I know it's not the same Fennec Shan we've seen from the Mandalorian season two and the book of Boba Fett which came out what, a couple years ago or something I don't know, but it seems like she was a little more on board with being the good guy at that time, and now she's on board with being the bad guy, which is part of bounty hunting, I guess. But she's a little too mysterious, and it seems like that's convenient for the story. And I'm not saying it's because it's overacted or overwritten or badly written or anything like that. I'm saying it's because there's going to be a twist. Because it seems like the Bad Batch just helped her get this big payoff by capturing this wanted fugitive and now she's just going to throw them under the bus and sell them out too convenient i don't think that's going to be the case at all i think boba fett's looking for more clones that could possibly cl be closer related to him than the other clones of the army of the republic and if Fennec Shan is in with Boba Fett on this, then she likely would have told him before about Omega, who is a clone of Jango Fett, an unaltered clone. Altered, but unaltered. I don't know how that works. I'm not a biologist, so I couldn't tell you about chromosomes and DNA and all that stuff. But this would be a lead for Boba Fett to find someone more like him. And we're seeing her talk with this mysterious figure at the end of the episode. And we can all speculate as to who it could be. It could be Cad Bane. Well, no, she had a run in with Cad Bane. They almost killed each other. And it could be for LOM or Zuckus. No, no, that doesn't make sense why they'd be after 
Omega other than the bounty on her head. They're keeping it a mystery for a reason. And I think that reason is because this is going to be Boba Fett's entrance into the Bad Batch. We've been waiting three seasons to see Alpha come into the Bad Batch. And it hasn't happened yet. And it needs to happen soon to tie up that loose end of the storyline of Omega and Alpha. Or Alpha and Omega. The beginning and end. And I don't think Boba Fett's looking for someone closer related to him because he wants some kind of family nostalgia or family unit or anything. Boba Fett is a bounty hunter. He's a single bounty hunter who doesn't like teaming up with others and doesn't like loose ends. And Omega is one of those loose ends. Not saying he's going to try to kill her, but he just wants to find out about her. And not just that, there's a big bounty on her head. Is he going to try to protect her or is he going to try to go in for the bounty? Well, it's Boba Fett. It could go either way. And again, let me reiterate, this is just a Star Wars theory or Star Wars speculation, if you prefer. It isn't an expectation. Expectations are different than theories. I don't get wrapped up in my theories and say this has to happen or I'm going to be all mad about it because I'm not. Whatever they do with the story, that's up to them. They're the writers. I'm not a writer. Well, not a Star Wars writer. I do write horror fictions, but that's another story. And by the way, I'll go ahead and leave a link to my other channel where I write horror stories and narrate them. And you can go check them out. Tell me what you think or not. Now let's get back to Boba Fett in the Bad Batch Season 3. I think it's likely going to happen. There's a reason that all these bounty hunters are after Omega, but we haven't seen the best bounty hunter in the galaxy yet. Okay, at this time, technically Cad Bane could be considered the best bounty hunter at the ga in the galaxy, but soon it will be Boba Fett. And he's seen as that in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. And we know Cad Bane is around during those times. So, I don't know, Cad Bane wasn't on Darth Vader's Star Destroyer. So maybe him losing Omega when he was supposed to retrieve her dropped him in street cred. That he's not the best bounty hunter in the galaxy anymore. He's getting older. I don't know. We'll see. But I do think Boba Fett is going to show up at some point. Maybe not right now. We still have Clone X to figure out or the clone operative from episodes 6 and 7. So we'll have to figure out who that is. And it's probably nobody, really. Probably just any random clone. That's the way these things go. And that's the way they should go. The galaxy is a huge place. Everybody doesn't have to be related to somebody or know somebody or be somebody we've ever seen. It doesn't have to be that way. And remember the Ezra Bridger is Maroc theory that everybody had? Yeah, I didn't play along with that one too much. But I would like to hear your comments down below. If you think the Boba Fett will show up in the Bad Batch Season 3, or if they're going to set up another story after this for animation for possibly Boba Fett getting an animated show. Man, I'd love that. That'd be so cool. As long as you don't talk too much. That'd be good. He doesn't decide he just wants to be a nice guy. Yeah, I want to see that. No, I don't want to see him be a nice guy. I want to see him return to the bounty hunter we know and love. So let me know down in the comments what you think if this is a possibility. This is Gerald, a Star Wars fanatic, asking you please to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with whoever you feel trustworthy to share it with. Again, this is Gerald, a Star Wars fanatic, signing off, wishing you all great health, happiness, and peace. Thank you all for watching, and remember, this is the way, and positivity in Star Wars can be the only way.